Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Sam and I'm going to be leading you through a short standing squat flow to strengthen your glutes and your hamstrings. This entire practice is going to be done standing up. So you don't necessarily need a lot of space on the floor to roll around or anything like that. We also are not gonna be using any props for today's practice. And all you really need is your mat and yourself. And before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated on all of my new classes here on YouTube. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna get started in a wide stance facing the long edge of your mat, just as I am here. And make sure your feet are parallel to one another and you're gonna stand up nice and tall, hands on your hips. Just take a couple breaths here to, and I want you to feel long through the body. So we're aiming to create space between your vertebrae. And I also want you to feel length from the bottom, the soles of your feet, all the way up through your legs and then shining out through the top of your head. And we're trying to stay long through the front of the hips here so there's no piking whatsoever. We're getting really wide, really tall, really strong here. Just feel that image using your breath, inhaling to bring that energy up from the earth, exhaling to grow even taller. Again, inhaling and exhaling. This time, let's inhale with the arms, bring them all the way up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward, so send your hips back, flat back, all the way down towards the earth. Place your hands on the floor. Maybe you even wanna grab opposite elbows here and just sway a little bit side to side. So we're introducing a little bit of free movement here. You can bend and stretch through your knees, right and left. And then let's settle in the center here. You're gonna lift yourself back up to that flat back position. So pull your belly in, feel energy out through your crown and your tail. And from here, we're gonna take a plie, bending through both knees. Swing the arms back around behind you, feel your shoulder blades pinching together. And then inhale, let's push to stand. Let's do that again. Let's take an exhale to push down through the knees, bending, keep that belly pulling in, and inhale to push up to stand nice and strong. Again, exhale, let it go, bend. Inhale, push to stand. This time, let's take it back, arms back, hips are low, and we're gonna hold here in this bear squat. Feel that you're on the outsides of both of your feet and our hips are remaining low. Your belly is pushing in, floating right in between both of your thighs. And we'll push to stand once more, long spine. Reach that long spine towards the floor, so we're trying to maintain a flat back, making a diagonal line, and release, curving the spine into the center. Let's bend all the way through the right leg, and stretch, again, bending through the left, and stretch, and I'm mirroring you here so you can Copy me exactly as you see, bending through the right, stretch, bending through the left, and stretch. And now keep your body low, hands on the floor. You're just gonna take your toes and spin them outwards, heels come forwards. So we're coming into almost like a goddess pose or a second position plie here. You can bring your elbows onto your knees and just rock a little bit side to side. So being a little bit more passive here, just inviting some length and space into that inner groin and your hips. And you can sway side to side. Make sure those knees are staying open right over your toes. And let's lift the upper body. Just finding a moment here, holding this squat in our turned out position now. Staying here for another five seconds. Continuing to breathe nice and deep. And let's keep your legs where they are, release back down. You're gonna keep your right leg bent. I'm gonna to continue to mirror you here. And you're gonna stretch your left out to the side. Finding warrior two legs, but keeping your body forward. And you might wanna take your right hand and just use it to open up that thigh a little bit here. So we have these warrior two legs coming forward, continuing to stretch through that inner groin, but being a little bit more isolated into the one leg. And now you're gonna power up through the legs, lift on up to find your full warrior two position. And you might feel that right leg start to burn here. And we're gonna make this even more dynamic. You're gonna flip your palms up to face the sky. Inhale, we're gonna straighten that front leg. Arms come all the way up overhead to touch. 
Exhale, find resistance through the arms as we push down back to that full warrior two. Again, inhale up and exhale, push down. Again, inhale up, exhale, find resistance, push down. Last one, inhale up, exhale, push. Find that warrior two, hold for one breath. And we're gonna take the back arm, circle it forward, facing the short edge of your mat now, coming up to a high lunge. You can keep a slight bend through your back knee because I don't want your lower back and ribs to poke out here. We're trying to make a straight line from the tailbone up to your crown. Arms can float up overhead right beside your ears. And let's take the arms now into a cactus shape, so two 90 degree angles. From here, you're gonna inhale, straighten through your back knee now, purposely find an arch, and your elbows pull backwards, shoulder blades pinch together behind you. Then we exhale, curve the spine. Your back knee is gonna lightly touch the mat underneath you. Again, inhale, opening up. Exhale, curve and drop. Again, inhale, open. And exhale, last one. This is almost like a cat and cow here in our high lunge position. And we exhale to curve. Come back to that lunge, arms overhead. We're stepping up to warrior three. I'll leave the arms up to you. I'm gonna bring them into a prayer position in front of me. We step up onto that right leg. Back hip is spinning down towards the floor. So your back toes are pointing directly down to your mat. And again, we're gonna make this dynamic by exhaling. Push up to stand, bring that knee in with you. And inhale, take it back down to that position we were just in. You can have a slight bend through your supporting knee as we do this. Inhale, or sorry, exhale, push up to stand. There we go, and we inhale, take it back. Two more, in, exhale, take it up. Inhale, nice and easy to take it back. Last one, we exhale up. And from here, you're gonna place your toes together, coming to chair pose. So send your hips back, arms up, as if you're sitting in that chair, maintaining that long spine that we've been working on. And we're gonna keep your right leg planted on the floor. Your left leg is gonna cross over top, maybe once, maybe twice. Arms reach out to the side. Left arm crosses under right, maybe once, maybe twice, finding your eagle position. So your right leg will still be supporting you here. Feeling that burn into the outer edge of your right glute. You might also feel this into your hamstrings, maybe a little bit into your foot. Feel that your foot is spreading into the floor to support you, keeping your eyes locked on an unmoving point in front of you. And we're gonna push back up to stand. That'll feel nice and juicy. Your arms will reach out to the side. We're gonna to twist towards your lifted leg and you're gonna extend your lifted leg out behind you, finding a floating warrior, or not a warrior, sorry, this is our half moon pose. So a floating warrior position. And we just did a lot of work on that supporting leg. So if you need to take the fingertips down to the floor as I am, go ahead. But ideally, we're trying to find a balance with the fingertips slightly lifted. So we're putting all of that work into our supporting leg. This is very challenging, so be kind to yourself. And from here, we're gonna try and float down into triangle pose. So bring your fingertips to the floor if you need, bringing that back leg to the mat parallel to the short edge of your mat and lifting back up so we're opening up through the shoulder. Triangle pose. This is a nice break for that right leg. And let's take that top arm, reach it up and over, just getting into the side body a little bit more. And we're gonna let this arm continue to circle, bringing you forward, turn your right leg in. So we're returning to that forward fold that we started in. And again, introduce a little bit of movement, right and left, just really loosening and getting into that right leg that we just worked on. And let's find another central position here. You're gonna open up your left toes now, coming straight away into that warrior two position on the second side now. And again, you might wanna take your left arm this time 
and just guide that knee open so we're staying nice and square over those toes. Trying to maintain 90 degrees with that left leg, opening up through the inner groin on the other side now. And you're gonna power up through the legs once more, lifting up, sink low with the hips, just adding the arms. Remembering that long, tall, and strong position that we started in at the beginning of class. We're gonna flip the palms up here. You're gonna inhale, bring the palms up to touch, and exhale, push down. Inhale, up, exhale, push. Really feel that you're pushing something heavy away from you with your arms. Inhale, up, exhale, push the shoulder blades and the arms down. Last one, inhale, and exhale, push. From here, we spin the back heel and the back arm coming to be square with the top of your mat, bending through the back knee a little bit so that we can maintain a perfectly straight line through your back so we're not arching whatsoever here. And then we're coming to that cactus shape our cat and cow, you could call it, from our high lunge. So we inhale, stretch through the back leg, find an arch through your back. Exhale, curve your spine as much as you can, shoulders together, back knee lightly touches the mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, resist down. Inhale, open. Exhale, working through your spine as much as you can. We have one more here. Inhale, stay low with the hips. Exhale, curve. Coming back to your lunge, set your hands for your warrior three. Stepping up, trying to have it happen in one motion. Feel your shoulder blades plugging behind you, your belly pulling in that back hip, spinning towards the mat. And on an exhale, powerfully we push up to stand. Inhale, take it back. Warrior three, in, exhale. Keep mix, mixing those up. Push to stand on the powerful motion. We exhale, inhale, nice and gently. Back to your warrior three, exhale, push. Inhale, take it back. Last one, exhale, push. And from here, toes together, arms up. Take a seat into your chair. Take a couple of breaths here, enjoying the stillness. Before we rev up that left leg once again, you're gonna take your right leg, cross it over your left thigh, binding once or twice, trying to maintain your balance. Arms reach out, right arm crosses under the left, wrapping once or twice. Sink the hips low, continuing to breathe here. Fix those eyes on an unmoving point in front of you. Feeling grounded into your supporting foot, especially for our balance to come. Let's breathe the arms out, lift the knee up with you, flexing that foot and you're gonna twist towards your knee and then we're gonna float. Again, fix those eyes on an unmoving point in front of you or you may wanna bring them to the floor, that might help. We have our floating half moon here. So unlike warrior three, your back leg is open, turned out, your knee is pointing towards the side of your space, fighting for that balance. If it gets to be too much, you can place those fingertips down. Taking one more breath and stepping back, finding triangle nice and gently, and then open yourself back up so your shoulders can stack long line through the arms, taking a deep breath. Inhale and exhale, enjoying that break for your left leg. And let's take that top arm, reach it up and over beside your ear. Keep the shoulder stacked here so the top shoulder is not gonna roll in. And we're gonna keep it circling. Turn in your left foot, finding that wide-legged forward fold once more and swaying side to side again. Try to find some intuitive movement, doing what your body needs here. And let's take a plie, bending through both knees, and stretch, and again, bend, 
and stretch this time. Bending, let's roll up through the spine, inch by inch. Your head and shoulders will be the last to recover. And bringing your feet in just ever so slightly so they're not quite as wide. And then just shine your palms forward. Close your eyes just for a moment. And I want you to think of that same image that we, we breathed through in the top of our practice. So I want you to feel energy coming up from the earth through the soles of your feet into your body, creating length, length through your calves, your knees, your hamstrings, through your glutes and the front of your hips, and then through your spine from your tailbone all the way up to your crown as your shoulders melt down your back. Taking three more breaths with this intention of length and strength. And blinking your eyes open, bring your hands together in front of your heart, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I hope your legs are burning and on fire just like mine are. And I will see you on the mat for another practice again very soon. <laughs>